Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky. After following a tutorial by Jose and Martinez on YouTube, I set up this window tiling application which runs from the command line called Yabai. Basically, what this application does is to tile the windows off the applications you have open all across your screen and takes up all the available space. You can specify in the config file if there are certain applications that you don't want to be included within that. Otherwise, everything else will be split up on the screen evenly. Make it uneven again by changing a window to the exact size that you want after that. The trick to make this more useful is to set up another application which has a strange name of SKHD to take care of the screen board shortcuts that happen to make all the settings go on so you can use it to change from one window to another, move windows to other displays, move windows to different screens and let's have a look and see how we make it all work. I'm Dave Allen, let's get into it. So as you can see I've got five windows set up on the screen there at the moment and I can change these dynamically so let's just take this one here and move that over there and as you can see the one that was on the left there rearranged itself and I can do the same with these ones up here as well so I'll move that over there and then move everything else to take up the spaces. As soon as I set up so that it's got a gap in between of I think it's 12 pixels and we set that all up in this config file. So the config file is yabairc and that's in the .config folder and it's got a padding of 12 all around it and it also means that when I change from one window to another this focus on means the, the focus will go to the window that you just changed to. So I'm in this window here at the moment and I want to um, go to the next window. I can do this with a keyboard so I can do a option L and now the focus is there, option L and go to the next one. If I want to come down to the channel dashboard in the uh, studio in uh, Brave browser, I can do I can do option J. So you see, every time I move to a particular screen there, the mouse follows the focus and it puts the mouse cursor into the middle of the window that's active. So if I want to go to this one here, applications, I'm going to do option H and that's put that there. And I can go up to the top now as well if I want to with option and K. So it's gone into the middle one there, to the disk utility. And if I wanted to go into the one over on the left hand side there at the top, I'm going to do option H. If I close one of these, you'll see how it all sort of uh, works magically as well. So I want to close this here. Use the mouse as well to move in between. But the idea is as much as possible, you use the keyboard to do this. So we're in this disk utility at the moment, and I'm going to do command and Q. And you can see the window has taken up the space that was available there. If I do Option, Shift and E, it will rebalance it all. So now we've got four things in there and it's all balanced as it's supposed to be. OK, it's time to hack the YouTube algorithm. Time to put a comment on to this here. Tell me what you think of you by yourself. And also you can put a like on it. That also helps the algorithm and gets these videos in front of more people. I can flip it along the Y axis, Shift, Option, Y. So that made the windows that were on the right hand side swap with the windows that on the left hand side. Shift option X, so the top two windows change places with the bottom two windows. All of these keyboard shortcuts are defined in a file called skhdrc. Both of these applications were installed using Homebrew and controlled by Brew. You can do it as well to have keyboard shortcuts in the skhd file, config file. That will set it so that you can restart Yabai and get going again with it. Maybe you've made some changes to the config file and you need to restart it so that the new changes take place. That's uh, easy to do. And if you make any changes to the SKHD file, then those changes are instant. You don't need to restart it. So another goal with this here is I can rotate the layout clockwise by doing Shift Option R. So that rotates it clockwise. I'm just pressing this um, Shift Option R repeatedly to make it do that. I'm getting the mouse down. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move that up there. I can change the display like that by just uh, moving it with the mouse. So if I want to have this application at the top there, drag and drop that in the middle there and it swaps it over. So you can use the mouse as well if you want to. So Warp in the top left has a focus now. If I do Shift Option and M, it will maximise it. So that maximises it up and if I want to bring it back down again, same thing again and do Shift Option M and it's back down again. So that's kind of cool. If I want to toggle it so that it is going to be floating instead of um, set in with its grid, then I'm going to do Shift Option T. So that puts it into the middle there and when I finish with that I can do Shift Option T again and it'll put it back into the grid. 
So changing focus within the space, I've already told you how to do that by using these J, K, H and L keys. Those are the same keys that you use when you're working inside NeoVim. When you're working within the body of text and you want to move around, you use J to move down, K to move up, H to move left and the L to move to the right. So it's the same sort of uh, thing there. You keep the keys and the hands and fingers on the keyboards and you're just basically moving around the same as you would do in NeoVim. So if you're using NeoVim a lot, then you're going to understand how all this works. Uh, OK, so I'm in this one here at the bottom now. I'm uh, in the uh, this window here. You can see this local host one here. This is an application which I've got and I've set it up so that it is uh, not going to join in with the rest. If I go into the uh, file for the um, Yabai, yeah, and you see here local host manager equals off and I've done the same with stickies calculator and system settings so if I'm going to open up the system settings go to Raycast and I go to settings that'll pop up there and it pops up in the middle and it's not going to change the grid that I've got there with the rest of the screen shift option Z and that's put it into the MacBook screen if I want to do shift put it back into where it was I do shift option A Let's put it back into the screen where it was before. I can move between spaces as well as in between displays. So let's do that now. Let's move this application here into the space to the right. So at the moment, let's have a look and see what space we're in. We're in desktop two at the moment. Let's move and put it into desktop three. So I'm going to get this one here and I'm going to do shift option and N. So if I go to the next space now, swipe across with three fingers on the trackpad or I can do it by using control and the arrows. So that's another quick way to move around if you do control and arrows. This is my uh, draft application and I want to move that back to the previous space, do shift option and P. Come across here and you can see it's back into this space again. How cool is that? If I want to move it to a specific space, I can do that with shift option and the number. So I'm going to do shift option and seven. And now I need to uh, go up there and come down to this one here. And you can see it's into this screen here. And because there are no other applications open in here, it's taking up the full screen. Ice cubes. I'll mention ice cubes while I'm here. This is an application which is a application for Mastodon. And it's quite good. I like it. It's been updated rather a lot lately and it works well. So if you're using Mastodon, have a look on Mastodon. And you can find me in there. I'm in there at some... Uh, the name Spondicious. I'm Spondicious. Um, this screen here, I've got this application here, which is taking up this space here, look. And it's only a small application, that's all the space it needs, or that it actually needs to take, but it's, so it's left the rest of it free there. So let's move across to another space again. So let's take um, the finder here, and I'm going to move that to the next space. So uh, option, shift, and next. Let's come across to this next one. And as you can see, it's taken up this space here at the bottom here. And it's left uh, the Ice Cubes application um, taking up the right half of the screen. Don't forget we can move these edges with the mouse to make it larger and the other applications will reduce in size to accommodate or get bigger in size to take up the available space. Uh, it's taking a little bit of getting used to because I'm not used to the keyboard shortcuts yet, but most of them that I'm going to be using are working on the Option and Shift. There are a few that work on Control and Option. Uh, I'm going to put a stickies onto the screen here so that at some point in time I'll not have to put the stickies there and I'll be able to just remember it. So let's go back up to this uh, screen here. I can look into this one here. These are all my uh, different uh, codes. There are quite a lot of them and some of them I shall never use. The ones at the bottom are useful to have in there. So if I want to quit uh, Yabai, yeah, I can do uh, Control, Option and Q. Let's do that now and see what happens. So we're going to do Control, Option and Q. So that's uh, stopped Yabai from working. So if I move that across there now, nothing's going to automatically happen. So I've got a few things going on there now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start Yabai. So that's uh, Control Option S. Something's happening. OK, well, it just takes a little while before it organises itself, but it does it. It starts. <laughs> it just did the job there. I'm not sure about Find. I'm thinking with Find I might set that up so it's not part of it and it's always going to be a floating window and something that is just going to just be there, you know, just hanging about in the middle of the screen or wherever I want it on the screen, because um, I think that's going to be the way I like it. And it's quite easy to change that. So if I go into this one here and I'm going to do this uh, rule at the bottom here, so it's not going to be uh, managed by Yabai. So I'm in NeoVim. What I'm going to do is I'm going to yank that line. So I'm going to do YY to yank that line. Then come down the line. So I'm going to go to... Um, so end of the line should be shift and dollar sign, put. 
Okay, so let's put that in underneath. Then what I need to do is to just go in here and change local hosts. Let's use the W key to move across here. So I'm going to do CW for changing words. CW, and then I'm going to put in finder. Press escape, go to the next word. And then I'm going to do a delete W. That's that word deleted. And then I've got to put that, get rid of this space here. So just type in an X, that gets rid of the space. And that's as it's supposed to be now. So what I need to do now is I need to write that file. So I'm going to do colon, write, and exclamation mark. So what I need to do is I need to restart it so that it'll take that change into account. So let's do that now, control option R. So when you do a restart on this, it will make some changes that are going to mess things up a little bit, but you don't have to restart it very often, so that's okay. So this is Dave Allen, I'm Good and Geeky. We've been having a look at what you can do with Yabai and also with some extra keystrokes in the application SKHD, and it's really geeky stuff. Have a go and tell me what you think. See if you like it or not. I'm going to leave it running for about a week or so, decide after then whether I'm going to keep it or not. Because it's something where you need to just play with it and get used to it and the, um, learn the keystrokes and decide whether it's for you or not. If you haven't done already, go and subscribe.